Here we have two triangles sitting next to each other. Uh, triangle ABC, the red triangle, is an equilateral triangle. And next to it, we have triangle BDC. In both of these triangles, we have inscribed circles of the same radius. And this inscribed circle in triangle BDC, it is tangent to all three sides of the triangle. And point of tangency between the circle and the side BD is point E. And we were told that BE is A, ED is B, and we are asked to find the ratio A over B. Now let's talk a little bit about inscribed circles. Inscribed circle is the largest circle you can put inside of a triangle. And that circle is going to be a tangent to all three sides of the triangle. We said that point E is a tangency of a circle with side BD. Let's just mark point F as the point of tangency of a circle with the side CD and G point of tangency of a circle with the side BC. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to connect the center of the circle, point O, with all the points of tangency. Since the side BD is tangent to the circle at point E, it means that the segment that connects that point of tangency in the center of the circle is at 90 degrees to the tangent line. And that goes for all tangent lines we have here. So BE is at 90 degrees to EO, CD is at 90 degrees to OF, and BC is at 90 degrees to GO. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to connect the center of circle O with all the vertices of the triangle. And now let's look at triangle FOD, the green triangle, and triangle EOD, the peach triangle. Those two triangles are actually going to be congruent, and the side ED is the same as the side FD. To show that, you notice that both of those triangles are right triangles. We know that they both share a hypotenuse, OD, and one of the legs of both triangles, OE and OF, are the same length and equals to the radius of a circle. And by Pythagorean theorem, when you have two congruent sides, the third one has to be congruent too. And by three congruent sides, we have a congruence of triangles. But in this particular case, we are interested only in the fact that DF is also equals to B, like ED. In a similar way, BA will be the same as BG, and GC will be the same length as CF, and we're going to call that length C. The next thing you want to use is the relationship between the sides of the triangle, radius of the inscribed circle, and the area of the triangle. And it turned out that the area of the triangle equals to the radius of the inscribed circle times A plus B plus C, and A plus B plus C will be half of the perimeter of this triangle because there are two A's, two B's, and two C's in this triangle, right here. If you're not familiar with this formula, it's very easy to derive. First notice, we can split this triangle into three triangles. The green triangle BOC, the peach triangle BOD, and the gray triangle COD. And now, if we look at, let's say, gray triangle, COD, we find the area of this triangle is half times the height, in this case it's OF, it's radius, times the side of the triangle CD. In a similar way, the areas of other two triangles are going to be equals to half of the radius, here or here, times the side of the triangle. And now if we combine these things, we get that area equals to radius times the perimeter divided by 2. 
The next thing we want to do is to also find the point of tangency of the equilateral triangle ABC and inscribed circle there. Now I'm going to just use the fact that the picture is symmetric and point of tangency H should be halfway between points AB. In a similar way, the point right here of tangency with the side AC should be in the middle of that side and point of tangency of that circle with the side BC also in the middle of side BC. And let's call BH and AH as D. Now notice BC is on one hand is 2D because it's equilateral triangle. On the other hand is BG which is A and GC which is C. And that's what we're going to get here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an altitude BK in a triangle ABC. And the triangle ABK, triangle on the left, is actually 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So there's 30 degrees of B, 60 degrees of A, and 90 degrees of K. And for 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle, we know that the altitude BK should be 3 squared of 2 times the side of the triangle. And that's going to give us this formula. On the other hand, we can reuse this formula that relates the radius of a circle with the area of the triangle. So we know the area of triangle ABC equals half of the radius of inscribed circle times the perimeter of the triangle. And that gives us this expression 3RD. On the other hand, we can calculate the area of this triangle in a normal way as half of the altitude times the side AC. And that gives us the formula d squared times square root of 3. Since both of these guys should be the same, if we equate them, we get an equation that gives us the relationship between the radius of a circle and half side of the equilateral triangle. Previously, we looked at the area of triangle BCD using the inscribed triangle. But now let's look at the area of the same triangle in normal way. Half of the altitude, which is also BK, times the base, which is CD. And CD equals to B plus C. And if we apply that, we get this formula. And now, obviously, this area written here should be the same as this area. And if we equate them, this is what we're going to get. And also what we did here, we substituted the value for radius using this formula. Now we can see that D is going to be canceling out. And after we simplify this equation, we're going to get the relationship between A, B, and C. And now let's look into the quadrilateral GOFC. Let's zoom up here a little bit. This is our quadrilateral GOFC. Notice this quadrilateral consists of two congruent triangles GCO and FCO. And because they're congruent, the angle GCF will be split by the line CO into two congruent parts. The whole angle GCF will be 180 degrees minus this angle ACB, which is 60 degrees, part of the equilateral triangle. So whole angle GCF will be 120 degrees. And that means that angle GCO and angle FCO should be each 60 degrees. So triangle GCO becomes 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And as we know, in such a triangle, if we know one side, we know them all. We can relate the side GO, which is the radius of a circle, and the side GC, which we call C. And we're going to get the relationship like this. And the final thing we need to do, we need to look at these three equations we got. First of all, notice that C and D are related. D is 3 times C. 
and we're gonna substitute this value of d into this equation. And when we simplify this equation, we get a relationship between c and a. And now we're gonna substitute this c in the first equation, and that gives us the final answer, which is a over b should be 5, 9.